Hewlett Packard Enterprise uh, announced their uh, earnings for the quarter, and they are back to pre-pandemic growth, and they announced a major move from Silicon Valley to Houston, Texas. What did you think, Daniel? Well, I, I think the big win for this quarter for HPE, Hewlett Packard Enterprise, was returning year over year to uh, flat to slight growth. I mean, look, the OEMs as a whole have not had shining quarters. While a lot of tech has, a lot of people have been uh, wooing Microsoft, wooing Amazon, Zoom. Um, if you have been, if you're IBM, if you're Cisco, if you're Dell, if you're uh, HPE, this year has been tough. Supply chains have been battered. On-premises deployments have been stunted completely. People aren't going to the office. And a lot of revenue for these big OEMs was on-prem. So yes, there was a cloud component and that has definitely pushed these companies through, but HPE was hit pretty hard. So last quarter, at the end of the quarter, I basically said, can HPE return to growth? Um, can it get back to flat, back to growth? That was sort of the trend we saw with Cisco. That was the trend we saw with Dell most recently. And it looks like the industry as a whole is now back on par. Um, in terms of where did the performance come from, came in a couple of areas, you know, primarily the intelligent edge and the high performance compute business with Cray. Um, those were really where its strength was. It also saw a little bit of a track back, getting closer to return to growth with some of its big business units, which would be, you know, its storage, compute, network. Um, those businesses, you know, are still down, but it's down single digits and it's showing um, a bit of a comeback. You know, where I've been watching, Pat, overall uh, has been GreenLake. That's the whole story for Antonio Neri, CEO, is, uh, is GreenLake. So where did that go? Well, uh, the company sequentially saw about 11% growth in its recurring revenue business overall, hit 585 million and is up 30% year over year. Um, this is the number to watch. The company is deploying service after service after service on GreenLake. That's storage and compute on GreenLake. That's going to be edge on GreenLake. That's going to be uh, data analytics on GreenLake. They are partnering with companies like Splunk um, and doing services to deploy containers on GreenLake. This is sort of the direction uh, everything as a service by 2022, was it? It was three years. Um, so you're only talking another 14, 15 months where uh, until 2022 is here. So that was kind of my big take, Pat, on this one was they're growing in the right places overall. And by the way, what a smart move. Get out of the Silicon Valley. I know unpopular in the tech community, but the tax benefits, financial benefits, the ability to uh, deploy and employ people in a reasonable wage uh, and give them a high standard of living in Texas. Um, you know, this isn't becoming more popular by accident. This is a true challenge that the Valley is going to have to answer to, especially with remote work um, and just the overall. So not to get too political here, but I thought, and by the way, back to its roots, right? Compact days uh, of Houston. Uh, they're going back to the Wood Glens, uh, which is, by the way, a really beautiful place. Uh, a lot of great facilities there. And I think it'll be a good move for HP. I like seeing uh, tech being diversified across our country. That's good stuff, Daniel. And uh, yeah, it, it, you know, this move from Silicon Valley uh, to other places, I, I've seen the Silicon Valley take on it, which is, hey, good riddance, right? Good, good luck uh, out there. But, but I think that uh, many companies are just like you said, they're seeing the benefits of not being, not being headquartered there. They're going to have a lot of employees there, right? And, and for certain types of jobs, uh, you do want to recruit from Silicon Valley. Uh, in others, you you just there's not necessarily an incremental benefit uh, from it. So it is nice to to see HPE coming to uh, Texas, and I think the governor has done a, a really good job uh, bringing in uh, those businesses. 